What's up? Today on FanCrafts, we're going to show you how to make this Avatar The Last Airbending Scroll for around $5. Now, I've made the map as you can see here, but you can use the same process to make the fire bending, water bending, earth bending, or air bending scrolls. I'm going to be showing you how to make this. We're going to be making the water bending scrolls since I already have a map. And the only thing I like to change out between them is the button. Now, you can make it all for around $5. So let's jump right into it. Here's what you're going to need. Embroidery thread, it's about 40 cents at Walmart. Liquid stitch, it's about a dollar. A large sewing needle for the embroidery thread, about a dollar. And a button, one to three dollars depending on which one you use. And one fourth yard of fabric, which cost us about a dollar fifty. The whole yard's about seven bucks. And these scissors, which I had already lying around for free. And of course, the scroll that we printed out for free. All right, so the first step is the absolute easiest. Go to Google Images and find a picture of whatever scroll or map you want to use. We'll be using the water bending scroll from the episode that Qatar stole it from the pirates. Save that image to your pictures and print it out. We'll be printing it the size of a full sheet of printer paper. So you're going to double the fabric over and then measure out 12 inches high. That's the height you want the scroll. You're then going to measure out 15 inches width and cut it out. Having a sewing machine is optional, but it'll save you a lot of time. You can sew it by hand. The next step is to sew around all four edges of the square you just cut out. We'll see you back here when we're finished. The next step is optional, but what I'm going to do is singe all four sides until you can't see any of the white. If you wanted to, you could just cut it off if you like that look. But I found the burnt look, like on this one, looks really good. So we're going to go ahead and singe all four sides, and we'll meet you back here when we're done. We've went ahead and singed the edges of the scroll, and we've singed the edges of the paper. The only things left to do now is figure out where you want this paper position on the scroll. And once you've figured that out, on the wider side, that's where I like to stick the button. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to stick the button on, glue this down, and then you're finished. Now to put the button on, we're going to be using embroidery thread. It's about 40 cents at any craft store you go to. We got ours at Walmart. And we're using a slightly bigger needle just because the thread is thicker. Now we've already pre-threaded this needle, but we've threaded about 50 inches of thread. Because remember, it's got to wrap around the scroll a few times, and you can always cut some off, but if you don't have enough to begin with, you can't add string back on. So now we're going to show you how to put the button on. Okay, so now we're sewing the button on. I've decided that I want my paper on this side, and you can figure out if you want it on the right or the left side. I've chosen left, but for this step, you're just going to simply turn it over, figure out the space you want between the edge and the button. And I like mine in the middle, but you can really personalize it however you want. And so hold the button there, turn it back around, and feel for the hole. And that's the first little stitch. Since this leather is pretty hard to sew through, but just bear with me. And I'm going to go around roughly about... 10 to 15 times. Alright, so we've made it to the last few stitches, and this is where things are going to kind of get switched up a little bit. We're going to make a stitch right here, but you're going to leave a little bit of thread. You're not going to go all the way through. You're going to save about that much thread, and then make another stitch to the other side. And on this side, I am going to pull all the way through, but I'm going to tie it off in the back. And how you do that is you take your needle, and you just wrap the thread around a couple times, and now you're going to pull all the way through. Okay, so our camera cut out. But all I've done is pulled this little thread through, and we're just going to do one more stitch. And to finish 
finish it off, all you're going to do is you're going to go through this buttonhole. But instead of going all the way through to the leather, you're going to miss the leather. And you're just going to go straight through. And this is where the string is going to go to wrap around the scroll and keep it secure. And that's all for the button. You just cut the you just cut the needle off and tie it off. And that's all for the button. So all we're going to do now is we're going to turn the scroll face down. I'm going to be using this liquid stitch mini. It's about a dollar at Walmart. And we're just going to use a, a hotel key to smooth that out on the back. And we're going to give it a nice, good coat. Now, it don't matter if you miss places in the middle, but you really need to go around all the edges and get them pretty good. The edges are the most important part. So we're going to go around all the edges. This stuff's only a dollar, so don't worry about overusing it. If you need more, you just go buy another one. So we're almost there. And after you've got all the edges covered, you're going to take an old credit card, piece of cardboard, hotel key, whatever you got, and you're just going to smooth outward towards the edges. Because you really want the edges to be covered really good. That's the most important part of this thing, staying together and lasting a long time. So just cake the edges. If you don't feel you have enough glue on there, like I said, it's only a dollar, go ahead and put some more on the edges. In fact, I see some spots in the middle that could do a little bit better. And I'll just go ahead and add a little more. Now you don't want to, you can put too much where it goes through and actually goes through the paper and you tear the paper. That's really hard to do. I did it my first time making one of these. But for the main part, you know, no matter how much you use, you'll be pretty much okay. Unless you just get a little ridiculous. It is okay to get ridiculous on the edges though. Now that we've got that done, we simply have to take our card, and go under it, being careful not to get any glue on the front and place it. It's a good idea to already have penciled out where you want it to place the two edges so that you're not moving it once you stick it down. But it's okay if you have to because this glue dries very, very clear. So we're just going to move it just a little bit. I want it just an inch lower. About right, about right there. I'm now going to take the same hotel key, laying off the one edge, and I'm just going to smooth it out towards the edges. This is where I do a lot of my touch up. If there's any edges still sticking up, I'll go ahead and smooth that glue through so when it dries, it dries very clear. It'll also give it a nice little edge if you get it right up on the scroll to make sure that it doesn't come up at all. If you put a little bit on the edges, that's a good idea. And just a little touch up on places like this that aren't staying down. You just fill for them. If they ain't stand out, add a little glue to them. Just rub it out, this spot here, and just go around the whole thing. Now, like I said before, this glue dries very, very clear, so I think that's it. We'll bring it back when it's dried and let you see the finished product. All right, guys, this is the finished product. As you can see, it's all dry and ready now. Now, in the episode where Katara stole this, when they finally caught up with them and had that battle, there was some fire bending used. So I thought it would add some character and kind of make it more true to that episode if I added a few burn marks around the scroll like it got singed in that battle. Again, this is an optional step. You don't have to do that. If you like the way it looks plain on the back, you can just leave it that way here too. But I just thought it adds a little more character and kind of means a little more to that episode. If you enjoyed watching this video and are going to make one yourself, please give it a like and comment below of the ones that you've made too so that we can see what you've done. If you don't want to make one but you do want to own one, here's a link to our Etsy shop. You can go ahead and just buy one of these for yourself. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. We'll be bringing more crafts your way if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, guys, and as always, God bless.